everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games on the Rainbow Loom. This is what she will look like when you are finished, but the only difference from this one is that I am actually going to be adding eyes for her. And I'm going to put the eyes in with beads, and this is another Katniss I made. And this is what the bead eyes look like, so they just give her more of a face shape, but you don't have to do the eyes. So the supplies you will need to make Katniss are neon orange bands or any kind of skin tone you have, brown bands for her hair, black for her shirt, the brown for her pants, and black bands for her shoes. And I would like to thank Marloom's Creations for helping me with the face design and PG's Loomacy basic action figure tutorial for the rest of Katniss's body. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you want to make sure of is that you want to make sure that the arrows on your loom are facing down. My loom does not have arrows, but you want to make sure that the open side is facing away from you. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take double brown bands and we are going to put them on the very top peg here. Also, I forgot to say that your loom should not be even. You should have the one peg, one row, sticking above the others. So we have our one band here. And now we are still taking double bands. We will be using double bands for the remainder of the project. You take two and you push them to this side. So we have something like this. And now we go on the other side with two more brown bands Oops. and we go to this side so we have something like this okay so now next we are going to take two more brown bands and put them down Katniss's face and we do this again on the other side So it will look like this. So now we are going to take our neon orange bands and we are going to folk we are going to do Katniss's face. So I'm just lifting it up so you can see it. So you're going to put two neon orange bands over here, two neon orange bands over here and then you are going to put two neon orange bands Oops. from here to here and then two neon orange bands on the other side Oops. and then sometimes they pop off like you just saw but that's alright so we have something that looks like this. And now we are going to continue with Katniss's basic face shape and we are going to take double bands again. We are using double bands for the whole thing. We're going to put two from here to here, two from here to here, and then two from here to here. And now we are going to do Katniss's neck. So we're going to take double bands again and place them from here to here. So, so far you should have something that looks like this. And now we are going to work on Katniss's body. So we are going to take our black rubber bands. And once again, we're using double bands. So we put them here. And here and now I like to go we are going to go down one two three bands for Katniss's body and now we're going to go down the center again one two three 
who are the center of her body. And then we are going to do one, two, three. And now we have made Katniss's shirt. So next we are going to work on her pants. So I'm going to be using brown bands for Katniss's pants and double brown bands. So we are going to fill the rest of our loom on both the left and the right side and we will not be putting bands down the middle. So one set of brown bands, two sets of brown bands, three sets of brown bands, and then a final set of brown bands. So now we are going to repeat the same on the other side. So one set of brown bands, two sets of brown bands, three, and four. Oops, I'm sorry. So now you should have something that looks like this. So now we are going to make Katniss's shoes. So you will need your hook for this portion. So I gave my Katniss, my original Katniss, black shoes. So what you're going to do, wrap one single black rubber band around your loom one, two, three times. Now you are going to grab two more black rubber bands, two more black, put them together like this, reach here, and pull over. I like to do it with my fingers. So then you have one shoe. So we are going to go back down to where our last rubber band is and do this and just place it on and that will serve as our cap band. So now we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So we do one, two, three. Take two more black rubber bands, place it over. I like to take my fingers and you just push the cap bands over. So now we are going to put this on the other side as well. <coughs> so now we are going to make Katniss's arms and you will find that this process is very similar to making her shoes. So what we are going to do is our original Katniss had three sets of neon orange and then we have the sleeves of her shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one, two, oops, I'm going to wrap it around one, two, three times, take two more bands, and just like the shoe, pull it over. So this is basically what the shoe would be. But now we are going to add on more. So, one more, so you just lift this over and put it on. And then once again, take two more rubber bands, put it on, there we go. And you can do this one or two more times depending if you want, but I am going to go ahead and make Katniss's shirt sleeves. So I'm just going to take two black rubber bands, put them here, and pull the whole arm over it. And I'm going to do this three times. So, taking it, pulling it over, and then taking another set and pulling it over. So now we have Katniss's arm and you can just put it where her shoulder would be. So right on the first peg you have that reaches from her shoulder. So now we are going to do the same exact thing on the other side. 
So we're going to do one, two, three, pull two over, pull it over, there's our hand, then take two more, pull it over, and then take two more, and pull it over. And now we are going to make Katniss's shirt the same exact way. So we're going to take our two black bands, pull it over, and one, oops, two black bands, pull over, and now we have one more. So we take two black bands and pull it over. So now we can place this on her other arm <coughs> and just wiggle it over. So now we have this. So now we have to add Katniss's hair and her eyes. So first I will do her hair. So for Katniss's hair, I'm going to be using brown rubber bands. So I'm going to do it one, two, three. Take two rubber bands. I'm putting her hair in Katniss's signature braid. Pull over. And now I'm going to be I'm going to do single bands. So just take one band, pull over. One band, pull over. I think that it looks more like a braid when you do one band, but you could do two or <clears throat> however many you'd like. Take one band, pull over, take one band, pull over, until we have a total of six. Take one band, pull over. Like it better on her right side so I'm gonna put it on her right side and you can just stretch it out a little bit so then there's her braid and it will look longer once you actually take her apart so now I'm going to do Katniss's eyes so I am going to you are going to need floss and two black beads I'm using this kind of bead. I got it from Walmart and I find it very useful. So I'm just going to take two black beads. These look good to me. And then I am going to string them on. So what you will do is you will take your piece of floss. Oops. And you are going to put both beads on. It might be a little tricky. It's not the easiest thing. So you put, I have one bead on. I have another bead on. And now take one of whatever you used for your skin color. I'm going, you put it there and then you thread the black beads through. And it's a little bit difficult to show, but you just kind of push them through. I'm trying to get it through. I'm sorry I couldn't show you. So. You will have something that looks like this and now you are just going to push the beads to the center and take the floss out now you are going to take this and put it on the peg that you have your first skin colors on and make sure that you separate Katniss's eyes because that will matter later so now I am going to start putting the capping bands on Katniss. 
the capping bands on Katniss, I'm going to go to the last shirt peg that I have her shirt on, and I'm going to take one single black band, and I'm going to make a triangle shape from here to here like this. Actually, it is not the last triangle peg. It is the second one, and you're just going to put a single triangle. And then you are going to go again, another capping band. This is just so her body will stay in place. And now you go like this. And now we are ready to hook Katniss. So when you start to hook Katniss, the first thing you want to do is turn the loom around so she is facing you. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to reach in through Katniss's shoe, our cap band. Oops. Take the two brown rubber bands from her pants. You might have to secure this down with your finger and move them up to the next pin peg. So now we are going to reach down and again and do the same thing. And you are looking for a teardrop shape. So you're going to reach in and grab them and pull them forward. Reach in, grab, and pull forward. Reach in, grab, pull forward. Reach through the triangle band, grab our two black bands, and pull forward. Now, reach, and pull forward. So now, we have this, and this is what it should look like. So now we're going to go into the middle. This might be a little tricky, so you might want to take your finger and just take the two bands and pull them forward. <clears throat> take the reach underneath that, take the two bands, and pull them forward. Oops. And now reach underneath that and take the middle band and pull it forward. I believe that it is important that this band goes first before any of these, but I'm not sure of that for a fact. So now we are going to repeat the same process on the other side. So we're going to reach underneath Katniss's shoe, take our hook, and pull these two forwards. And now I'll put it back down on the ground, I'm sorry. So you reach in, take the two, pull forwards. So reach in, take two, oh my goodness, and pull forward. Reach in, take them, and pull forwards and you can just keep doing this and sometimes it takes a second to get used to the process so you're going to reach underneath take the two bands pull forwards reach it's just always important that you see the teardrop shape. So, now that we are to her neck, we are going to reach in underneath all these bands until we see the two bands that belong to her shoulder, and we're going to pull them forward. Then we're going to reach in again, pull out her arm if you need to, and then we have this. So now to get our neck, we're going to reach in underneath all these bands. It's a little tricky. And pull forwards. So now we are to Katniss's face. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. So you take... I like to do the middle pegs first. So I just reach in with my hands like this so I can see which bands I need to pick up. So I'm going to pick up, oops, I'm sorry, you can't see. I'm going to pick up these two 
and pull them forward. And now I am going to go to the left side, pick up the two bands here, and pull them out to the side. And then pick up these and pull them out to the side as well. If you couldn't see that process, I'm really sorry. <clears throat> but you just have to make sure that you do this peg first, this peg second, and this peg third. So now we are going to reach in underneath this and pull this forward. Go to the middle and pull this forward and just make sure that your eyes are separated like mine. And now reach in, pull forward, and then reach into your brown bands, pull this one forward. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm really sorry. But you can just watch what I'm doing and try to figure it out. So now we are going to reach in underneath these, pull forward. Oh no, I got them. Pull forwards. And now we are going to reach in here, pull forward. And now Katniss's braid is here, but that's all right. So we just pull the braid out, get the double brown bands, and go forwards. So now we are almost done hooking. Her arms are a little crazy, but that's all right. Just pull them down. We are going to reach in through all these bands and get the two, be a little hard to find them, get the two brown bands that I reached in and pull forwards. And you can either use one or two bands here. So now that we have this, we can take our Katniss figure off the loom. So what I am going to do is I am going to stick my hook through this, through all these bands at the top of the loom, and just kind of take her off. And just kind of take her off. Try to be gentle. Oh no. So I have her face off. And now I'm going to take her. And now I'm just continuing to take her body off. What she looks like. So now I'm going to secure her top of her head with an S-clip. So what I'm going to do is I am going to carefully just take her off. And I'm going to put her between my fingers. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take my S-clip, put an S-clip on her, and then I'm just going to leave her like this. And if you want, you can, you just kind of got to adjust the face so you can see the eyes sometimes. But once you adjust her, this is what she looks like.